I finally found. It will work for sure! Yeah, for only the 30th time this week. <laughs> huh? Oh! <laughs> yes! It's beginning to work! It's... <laughs> 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 Now what'll I do? I... Wait... Tyrania has that hair remover she uses on her legs! <laughs> if it can remove that for us, it can remove anything! Ah, all this blood flowing to my head is sure to improve my already stunning complexion! Now if only these gravity boots came in hot pink, Jacobo! Ah! I see her moth-eaten old raven, but there's no sign of that dreadful old rat bag. Aha! Liquid hair remover! <laughs> Try a head clapper! That's quacker! <laughs> Tyrania! <laughs> I was just... Wasting time with more baldness cures! <laughs> You're not only bald on the outside, you have no brains on the inside! <laughs> In the name of Nostradamus, Bobo, with so little brain power, how do you ever expect to get that infernal Mr. Maggot off our backs? Oh, I don't know who's worse, that monstrous maggot or her. I was hoping you'd show up. Come on, she'll be up there a while. Now's our chance to use her equipment. There's no time to waste, Maurizio. If they're thinking of another spell, we need to be in shape. 22, 23, 24, and 25. How dare that wimpy wizard of yours call me moth-eaten and old? There! That takes care of our warm-up, Maurizio. Warm-up? You mean there's more? I don't see why we need to do this. Maurizio, listen to me. We were barely fast enough to stop the last spell. Now we both need to get in better shape. So climb aboard, old friend. No. Maybe I should have started with number one. Oh, lamentable bubonic! How my reflection doth mock me! Long have I called upon the magical arts to bring forth hair to my barren scalp! Yet all that appears are pimples most foul! And the only thing that is left is the laughter of my terrible aunt. I get no respect from anybody. Oh, betrayal of betrayals! Why must the skill of the wizard elude me? In the name of all that is evil, I would... <laughs> I would gladly sell myself to the very realm of sorcery if I could just become a truly powerful wizard! <laughs> oh, who are you? What are you doing in my home? You just called me, sweetheart. Mephisto's the name. I come all the way from the realm of sorcery to make the deal you want. The one that will make you a truly powerful wizard, Booby Baby. 
Manifesto here. Well, tell them 5% or nothing. Love you. Let's do lunch. Kiss, kiss. As I was saying, sweetheart, I can make you the wizard of your dreams. You will be able to perform the most creative evilness ever seen on this planet. And in return, you simply have to be my personal assistant for a period of time. It's an offer you can't refuse. And all you have to do is sign on the dotted line. And you can permanently forget about that bug brain maggot. What? You know Mr. Maledict is Team Maggot? Though he's the bane of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Maggot is nothing but a small-time bureaucrat. A mere insect on the food chain of sorcery. You, on the other hand, are about to know unlimited powers of evilness. It just takes a simple signature on this contract, and you'll never need your ante again. Well, Mr. B? <laughs> See? Nothing to it. Well, gotta run. Got a meeting in Hollywood. But I'll be seeing you real soon. I don't feel any different. Could it be? If I really had unlimited powers, then I could... Ah, yes! Mephisto didn't lie. This is the new me! Goodbye, male pattern baldness! Wait, why waste my time with petty hair replacement? I am now an all-powerful wizard! I can cast mega, mega spells! And I will be respected by everybody! It doesn't hurt to get a little exercise while I add bloom to my cheeks! Now, what spell would really bring this dreadful city to its knees? Well, Bumpkins, have you thought of a spell yet? <laughs> yes, Sandy. As a matter of fact, I have. Your nonsensical upside-down exercises have given me a diabolically delicious idea. <laughs> 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 and I thought the blood was rushing to my head! Ready for the slalom course? Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of an extended rest. Huh? I don't believe it. Looks like my master is doing aerobics. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Aerobics? That was the biggest burst of mega magic I've ever seen, and Bobonic did it by himself. We'd better go see what he's done to the city. Like those wizards have finally turned this city upside down. Yeah, check out those topsy turvy tourists. Uh, I guess we're going to Auntie Noah's for a reversal riddle, huh? You got it, my friend. And now that we're in peak form, we should make it there in record time. <laughs> make that almost record time. What power! <laughs> I am the greatest sorcerer who ever existed! I finally turned this town on its head. <laughs> Bubba, what is all this racket? And how dare you dump me on my head? Whoa, I must still be dizzy. <laughs> it looks like the city's upside down. The city is upside down, dear Ant. And it's all my doing. I am now the greatest wizard ever! Ah, please, you couldn't cast a spell without me, unless... <laughs> Why, you thief! You stole my half of the parchment! Give it back! Huh? To 
Tyrania, the greatest wizard in the land, has no need of a parchment. Yours or mine. Now, back off! I'm warning you, Bobo. Give it back or else! As you have seen, Auntie, the world is upside down. And now I'm going to set things straight in our relationship. <laughs> He is definitely a changed wizard. It doesn't look good, boys. My extrasensory evil detector is off the scale. That means we're dealing with a higher grade of sorcery than Bubonic and Terrania are able to use. But it is them. We saw Bubonic cast a tremendous spell all by himself. That's serious. It means the true source of the spell is high-level sorcery that goes far beyond mortal mega magic. Unfortunately, I don't have a riddle that works on that level. Huh? Well, then what do we do? Somehow you'll just have to find a way to set things right on your own. Nope. With good luck and good fortune, you will succeed. I hope. It's no use, Murray Till. I thought we could set things right ourselves, but we keep turning things right side up, and they keep turning upside down. So much for good luck and good fortune. Good fortune? Hey, wait a minute. Didn't Auntie Noah particularly stress good luck and good fortune? With good luck and good fortune, you will succeed. Follow me, Murray Till. We can't possibly turn one of those games over. Relax, Maurizio. We're just here for answers. Good fortune, remember? Look! Received mystical advice from Madame Moonbeam. She will tell your fortune. Jacob, what are you talking about? These things don't work. It's certainly not this silly machine that's going to help us reverse the spell. Trust me, Maurizio. At this point, anything's worth a try. Now, I've just got to figure out how to get the old girl started. <laughs> Ah, that usually works. <laughs> and the answer is... Hmm. Hey, it's blank. We've been cheated. I want my money back. Thanks. <clears throat> Your charming personality can really cast a spell. I know that. What else is new? Don't you get it, Maurizio? There is a hidden meaning behind this. Can really cast a spell. I know! It means that we have to take the sorcerer's place and cast a spell to reverse bubonics. But we can't do magic. Ah, there's a first time for everything, Maurizio. To the lab! No! No! This is intolerable! <laughs> I call it home improvement. And now to remove the last vestiges of bad taste from the premises. <laughs> you wouldn't dare tamper with my room! Would you? <laughs> oh, no! 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 Ah, I almost forgot. <laughs> Please, not this! It's from a French designer! It's all I had left in the world! Had left in the world? <laughs> a little power is a wonderful thing, Auntie. <laughs> At least our well-conditioned bodies got us back here in record time. <laughs> Maybe the solution has something to do with the cauldron. Maybe it means we have to whip up a potion. I know what we have to do. An extraordinary wizard, that's me! All right, booby baby. You've had your fun. It's time to go, go, go! Go, go, go? Go, go, go where? Oh, don't play innocent with me. You know that you're required to relocate to the realm of sorcery. 
The contract is very clear on that point. Ah, I agree to no such thing. See, it's all right here in the fine print. You were hereby granted three hours of unconditional level 10 sorcery, after which time you were to return with me to the realm of sorcery. <laughs> In order to fulfill your obligations of permanent servitude, said contract will become binding unless rescinded within three mortal hours. And your three hours are up! <laughs> Got your bags packed? <laughs> you tricked me! <laughs> I'm sorry, Bubs. A deal is a deal. No, you will never take me. I am too powerful. <laughs> Get out! Get out of me! Uh, oh, hang on. I'm coming. It was not part of our deal! Welcome to your new home! Poor Bobby. Actually gone for good. It serves him right. Making deals without me. Bullying me around. Where's all your power now, Bobo? <laughs> A dispense with the pleasantries, you diluted, dim-witted dolt. Have you concocted a suitably sinister spell? I... spell? Oh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> yes! We've concocted a most deliciously diabolical spell for your evilness! You may have heard of Upside Down King. Well, this is Upside Down Town! <laughs> hmm. An excellent display of level 10 sorcery. Unfortunately, your lamentable partner paid a very dear price for going solo. The word travels fast. And now it seems you are also solo and shy one spell. Huh? Please, your evilness, if you could just wait a teeny tiny bit longer, I'll concoct the most scrumptiously sinister spell you've ever seen. Very well. I'll give you a grace period. One hour. Oh, great! How am I supposed to cast a spell without that pitiful nephew of mine? Hey, wait! Who needs Bobo? All I need is his half of the parchment. Hmm. Now, where would that paranoid pigeon head hide it? <laughs> And do a good job. That's my top client. Isn't that right, sweetheart? <laughs> oh! Jacob, do you really think we can reverse the spell this way? Sure. We've just got to recite the incantation. <laughs> Something tells me I forgot one or two ingredients. <laughs> Not a chance. Tell him four thousand is my final offer. <laughs> hey! You bubble-headed buffoon! You've mangled my imported suits and did unauthorized dentistry on my best client, but sabotaging my cellular? This is going too far! Consider our contract and its consequences null and void. You no longer have unlimited powers of evilness, and all the spells you've cast are now cancelled. In exchange, you can have your freedom back. You're out of here! Maybe he didn't even hide the parchment in his room. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's hope Tyrania's book of elementary herbal spells puts us on the right track. Whoa, I think it did. 
said, look! I don't believe it. We didn't even recite the incantation. Well, we must have done something, right? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you, Madam Moonbeam. Can't see a thing. Where is that numbskull nephew of mine? Well, at least it's good to be back home. Maggot! Mr. Maggot! And now that your foolishly feeble attempt at high-level sorcery has failed, I trust you are ready to concoct a suitably sinister spell more in line with your monumentally meager abilities. Of course, Your Evilness. As soon as I locate my partner, get her half of the parchment and... Allow me. <gasps> you needn't worry. I'm giving you a grace period. Fifteen minutes? Fifteen minutes? I've got to retrieve Tyrania from the realm of sorcery. Perhaps if I create an opening... I need more power. Don't panic. You can do it. Mr. Maggot, I need more time. I can't possibly cast a spell until my auntie returns. <laughs> Gee, Jacob, we did so well reversing his spell. Think we should help him out with one of our own. Nah. <laughs>